Wait on set. Marker. Rolling. Action. Give it to me! No! Good cut. Hey Water Springs Church, we want to welcome you and thank you for joining us Mother's Day weekend here online. I have Christine and Shaylee here and we're going through some questions because they were involved with the short film you're about to see called The Perfect Mom. Christine was the producer, co-writer, casting director, and songwriter and Shaylee was the lead actress. So I want you to welcome them, maybe give them a hello in the comments or something like that because they were a big part of this project <laughs> and we want to interact and engage with you. So thank you for being here. Um, we're, I'm just going to start with a few questions for both of you guys. The first one is, what was your favorite part of working on this film? For me it had to be the people. People are awesome. I mean the whole cast list, everybody behind the scenes were tremendous to work with and mm -hmm. Just peaceful, fun, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, I think probably it pulled me way out of my comfort zone, which was fun, but I loved working with Taisley. She like was a natural actress, like she just was perfect in everything that she did. And, and you'll meet her when you see the film here in a minute. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she played my little girl. Um, she's my best friend's little girl, so it's kind of fun to like work with her and, yeah. and I just really, really enjoyed getting to know everybody better. So. Yeah, cool. Um, what are the challenges that you faced or some of the hardships that you had during this film? I keep thinking about the scene by the river because it was freezing and the yeah. sun was setting and we're trying to get it done before the sun went down and the two of them, her and Susan, had to sit on the bench and between every break we got a blanket, we were trying to huddle together, and then they had to act like they were not freezing when they were yeah. acting. Yeah. Was, yeah. That was funny. Yeah. I agree. That was one of the hardest scenes for me, because I had to focus emotionally, which I just had to try and show that emotion, but then at the same time, get the mm -hmm. mist, and I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, go shake. <laughs> She got me inside. <laughs> well, you did a good job because oh, I've seen the film and I didn't. I even, have not seen I, it. So I didn't even I think about that. So. <laughs> and then cool. I think the other thing was just I am, as Andrew knows, I'm a huge control freak, and so just to have um, been using my house and like have it a disaster at times that was yeah. that was hard, but I mean it was good. That sounds I cool. Like it. God grew you through this. Yes. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Like you yeah. said, out of your comfort zone. Yeah. I mean, I'm still a control freak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were some of your favorite memories, whether on camera or on set or in the process or during the whole thing? Your favorite memory? I, I think it goes back to cuddling together with the blanket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were you cuddling with them? Yeah, the well, we were kind of like, it was a group hug. So yeah, <laughs> yes. it was, that, was, that was good. I, just, I mean, just watching it all put together, seeing how Andrew put it together mm -hmm. is amazing because you just see different pieces at different times and then seeing it all put together was mm -hmm. very cool so yeah, yeah. um favorite memory mm -hmm. I don't know I, I could mean, just see you guys having so many laughs behind the camera I yeah, mean I only know a glimpse of this there was when I I had to slip and fall and I had to like make it look like I'm falling onto the floor but I had to like jump up onto a mattress and then Ty's laying right there on the floor next to me and he's throwing his shoe up in the air. And I'm, and it has to be all perfect timing. And I think we did it in one take. I think it was like wow. pretty awesome that way. But I was like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna break my neck falling <laughs> on this thing. But it was really good. That's so, pretty cool. Yeah, it was fun to like laugh. Like I got to know Ty a little bit better. Um, everybody that I got to know a little better. I mean, Andrew's boys, I've worked with them for years. So mm -hmm. I knew them pretty well. Um, but it was it was really fun. That's cool. Have you ever acted before or been in a short film or no. stepped into anything like this? No, and I mean I've been I've been in plays, but that's all I've done. Mm -hmm. But before that, I have not done anything. And if it wasn't for Christine and her pushing me, because I <laughs> encouraging was, my first first play I ever did, I was just going to do makeup. That's what I was going to volunteer for <laughs> was to do makeup because yeah, I was selling makeup. <laughs> and then Christine was like, "Are you going to audition?" And I'm like. No, and then she told me to pray about it. So I went home that night and prayed about it, and then I made a little appointment to come and um, try out, and it just grew from there. But 
And yeah, all through natural. school, I wanted to do it, but I was just too chicken. And now as an yeah. adult, here you go. I guess. That's super cool. Yeah. That's super cool. It's, it's weird, but yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. And Christine, we have a question for you. Okay. I'm going to read it here. When you get a script with so many moving parts, like needing a cast, locations, and props, how do you even approach it? Well, I think it's just like anything. You have to break it down into the big parts. So mm -hmm. you start with the biggest scenes with the most people and try to get those scenes first. Of course, coordinating with Andrew and his schedule. And you just, I like to work from the big down. So you start with the biggest mm -hmm. scenes that you can. But then, of course, just time. Everybody has jobs, so you have to work around everybody's schedule. And, mm -hmm. and, and the collection of props and like supplies and stuff like that, right? Yeah, it's hard to go through a scene because you're like, oh yeah, we needed that, and oh yeah, we needed that. And mm -hmm. so, and that was my first film too, really. I helped a little bit with Awakening, but um, so it is a little bit different than stage plays. And for stage plays, I have a bigger crew that do more of that stuff. So for me, it was uh, it was a good challenge mm -hmm. to try to keep track of it all. So that's super cool. We appreciate your talents and your giftings and organizing and getting everyone together. All the glory goes to God. Yeah, so. yeah, of course. And you mentioned that um, your house was trashed. Yeah. How did you deal with that? Realistically, I mean, if I think about someone coming to trash my house and it makes me irk. Like, how did you deal with that or what was it like? And you guys will see the scene shortly, so <laughs> stay tuned for the trashing of the house. Um, I was definitely irked, you could say that. <laughs> but I tried to, I just kept thinking like, It'll, we'll just clean it up. I think the biggest thing for me was the sugar because I have a wood floor and I was like, where is this all gonna go? And they had a big pile right in front of like a heater vent. And I was like, I don't want it to go on the heater. <laughs> so it, it was a little stressful. But then afterwards, like we just mm -hmm. all got together and cleaned it all up. And, and all right, were you still finding like sugar pieces oh, yeah. Oh, and, yeah. and random things yeah. in the house? The next morning I was still, it was like dried on sugar. Yeah. And I just, so oh, it was probably a week or so yeah. before I got all the sugar, but yeah. hey, it worked. That's cool, that's yeah. cool. All right, Christine, so from my understanding, you wrote a song for this film, so do you want to explain that and kind of share your heart behind that and what that was like? Sure. Um, Andrew had asked me to write a song that deals with kind of the, the struggle of being the inadequacy of a mom. And um, so because I am almost at the other end of that, I put it out on Facebook, and so a lot of you answered and was awesome. So I had two questions. One was, um, what do you think is the hardest thing or how do you feel sometimes when you're really struggling as a mom and the other one is um, how does God help you through that and so it was through those um, that input on Facebook that I really came up with the lyrics for the song and so I don't know for me it's just very touching because I know it's kind of a, a church-wide song it's not something that I wrote mm -hmm. but it's something that my friends on Facebook a lot of them from this church um, just put their input in. So That is so cool. Yeah, it was really fun. That's so, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so thank you for being here and kind of sharing your heart. Um, do you guys have anything else you want to share or inform the viewers of before they see the movie or anything like that? Well, I just want to say I'm super blessed to do this. I feel privileged. Um, I would have never done anything like this, and I just give everything to God, and He provided me with the emotions, um, just everything I had, because there was days that we filmed hours, I mean, all day long, and I was just exhausted. I couldn't even remember my lines, and I was like, God, please just give me the lines. Mm -hmm. And so, if anything, I just want someone to receive something from this. I want a mom to know that she is loved by God, and that all she needs to do is go to Him. Mm -hmm. And I struggled with my own anxiety and depression, and my own postpartum, and it was hard. I had two babies, and I can tell you that God will be there for you always, and you can always rely on him, mm -hmm. and he'll be there. Yeah. Thanks for that encouragement. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything you want to share? I would probably ditto that and just say for all the moms, because I'm almost on the other end. I have one more daughter at home, but you do make it through, and <laughs> the Lord will cover your insufficiencies, because I think every mom struggles with the feeling of being insufficient for the job that they have in front of them. and. Mm -hmm. Um, God does cover it and it is an encouragement and so we hope that it is an encouragement to you all and uh, and that you can laugh through it too. 
Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, thank you. I think we're blessed as a Water Springs Church to have two ladies like yourself uh, be a part of this project because I can see your heart in, in just talking right now. So thank you for being a part of it. And I have Andrew and Ty here, and they were a large part of this movie, brought to you by Water Springs Media. So I'm just gonna go through some questions on some history about the movie uh, to let you guys know the heart behind it. So my first question is, what were your roles in The Perfect Mom and the making of it? So uh, I'm a writer, and I'm also the executive producer, and that's what, that's what my role basically was, mm -hmm. was in that. And I was also a co-writer and then the, the director. Awesome. So. <laughs> All right. And there's other people that also played a part in the team, hey? Yeah. Christine Haas had a huge part in this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, of course, our actors, Shaylee Howe and, and uh, Taisley, who we call Crazy Taisy. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and, we, and we had, uh, you know, we had other folks helping us. Caleb Orr was helping us with mm -hmm. things. We had Steve Garnier helping us with mm -hmm. sound. Yep. Um, and, you know, we had, we had a lot of people just really jump in. This is our first project. So this was kind of... It shook the tree pretty hard when yeah. we got in it. Yeah. Well, it's cool. And so now we know kind of who was a part of it and what their roles looked like. The next question I have for you is, why did you make the film The Perfect Mom? Well, we were talking about this earlier. This started out as going to be a, like a little short, hey, let's do a quick film uh, just to tell moms thank you for everything you do and mm -hmm. we love you and we're so grateful for you. And then uh, it, it, didn't, it, 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 it kept growing because these ideas of all the stuff that moms go through and all the hardships and all the blessings and the story just kept rolling and kept rolling mm -hmm. and then it it turned into uh it turned into probably a 45 minute film and then we went had to go back and edit it and that's a lot of what um, andrew did is editing and coming helping with that mm -hmm. yeah it, as far as i remember it was like you know we were we were in a creative meeting you know our creative staff there and we were throwing around ideas and I think I think you had the original idea of yeah let's just do this mom and just show what a normal typical crazy day is yeah kind of a day you that know? unravels mm -hmm. for a mom yeah because most days for a mom unravel it's yeah. kind of like the tyranny of the urgent and that's kind of what we the story we wanted to show yeah and so you had a little script and it was supposed to be two to three minutes and then you know me and Christine took it and we're like well what about this what about this what about this what about this and we gave it back to you and you're like oh I You're had, talking about a bigger project. Yeah, and I had so, <laughs> you came yeah. back with it. <laughs> and I had so much fun writing it. And yeah. we, there were a lot of gags that we didn't use. There, there, was yeah. a, there, there's, there, there, there were probably 10 pages of the script we didn't use, mm -hmm. uh, but that's very normal. I, I think one of the things we learned about writing very quickly when you're writing screenplays is you write a screenplay and then you give it to somebody else to chop up. Mm -hmm. um, that's part of collaboration. And that's an area that we, we learned to excel in Mm -hmm. uh, in our first uh, couple movie projects was collaboration and how to work as a team. It mm -hmm. was really a blessing. Yeah, cool. All right, the next question is, what was your inspiration behind, oh, I already asked that. No, I messed up. Can you edit this? No, go, go on with yeah. it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, really, yeah. really, you know, when we boil it down, the inspiration is, is we want to honor moms. Uh -huh. You know, we want to honor moms and their role in our, in our homes, in our society, and in, bringing us up we we all had moms yeah <laughs> you know and and just just to honor moms and how much work they really do on mm -hmm. a day-to-day -day basis yeah you know and that's that's really you know when we when we boil it down that was our original intent was just to honor moms you know, yeah and make something fun enjoyable and and touching at the same time cool so. what what was the biggest challenge you guys faced during the production of this film oh for me as an executive producer Finding a fire extinguisher that used CO2. That was actually... <laughs> You'll that see. Was actually, that was actually my, my, the, one of the hardest things I had to do because they don't use them much anymore. And, and so to actually find them, now I, I, I have an in. I now know a place I can... We might need to return it too. I think we still have it. Oh, we no. still have it. Okay. We, I think production's over now. I think we can return it. Uh, but but to, that was what that was that for me. That was one of those things. But we spent a lot of time running around, learning to use new equipment. Was part of that too. We were using new equipment as well. Yeah, stunts were fun. Anything else that was challenging? Gosh, the, I mean, just the timeline of it was was challenging. Because uh, because what ha this was supposed to come out last Mother's Day. Yeah, this was supposed to be last Mother's Day. <laughs> yes. uh, and, and and what happened is is we 
you know, like I said, it grew from a two to three minute movie to a mm -hmm. 25 minute movie and, you know, is now the length of it. And we had two months to do it in, you know, which you can't do really. No, and, and not, 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 not do well. Honestly, we were, we were this close. We were finishing it for last Mother's Day. And then the 168 project just hit us. And that is very rigid deadlines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so and we had to just be put aside and, 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 and that's the thing about a first project for a media yeah. team or, uh, is that was our first one. And so yeah. how do we do it? How long does it take? And it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And I can be honest with you, working with kids, we, every movie we've done, we have kids in them thus far. Uh, and working with kids is amazing. We, we've got a couple little uh, uh, upstarts of actresses mm -hmm. and actors that are just so hilarious and there's so much fun to work with. But that's the thing. But we ended up having to recast the movie halfway through production in, in one area. And that was that was something that slowed us down a little bit, oh, but man, we were able yeah. to fix it. But that was that was mm -hmm. definitely a challenge. That was probably the biggest hurdle. Outside of, the, for me, the fire extinguisher, that was the biggest hurdle. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was a huge but time. hurdle. Yeah. yeah, time is usually a big hurdle. Yeah. yeah, time was a huge hurdle. That was a big hurdle, you know, and, and uh, you know, I'm going to get into your next question here. Learning to work as a collaborator mm -hmm. was a huge hurdle for me, you know, because it's like, I'm used to the style of production where it's like, here's your camera, Andrew, go out and just film it, you know, and, and, and when I started working with Ty, Ty comes from a more traditional hey, we need people doing this, 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 and this, you know, and it's like, well, I did all that myself before. I can't on this project because it's too big, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, and I was not, I wasn't used to the scale of it, you know, like, like you said, bringing in fire extinguishers mm -hmm. and, you know, we're going to, we're going to get thing, you know, a house filled with smoke. We're going to trash poor Shaley's house. Oh, <laughs> the house was so great. Uh, they let us destroy, Oh yeah, destroy their kitchen, and I don't know how much coffee we spilt on that table. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure their 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 table still smells like coffee. <laughs> we were, I, I, I remember being underneath it, and I, we were trying to keep it off their wood floor, and we had paper towels down. Yeah, and we're underneath, and it's literally raining under the table. We're cleaning up as fast as we can oh. to keep it. We had was that giant, your job? Giant, that was that was one of my jobs. Uh, that I, I was a stunt coordinator. I uh, I did I I accidentally uh, hit Shaley in the face with the shoot. Oh dang it! Uh, but it, it, it happens. <laughs> it wasn't intentional, but you know, Shaley was, was the biggest sport. Oh, sport. she yeah. was so great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of people that wouldn't wouldn't do this. She was amazing. Cool. I'm glad that she was a part of it then. Yeah. She, oh yeah. She um, is and one of my questions is, what's the vision that you guys have for Water Springs Media Team? And I don't know. What are some things you want to do in the future? Well, I know for me, uh, as a visionary, um, I see the value of media uh, very much so because we were on the radio this morning and Andrew made a point he goes you know what you remember a movie that you saw 20 years ago but you probably can't remember the sermon from last week mm -hmm. and being able to tell parables in a way that people remember them I think is really important and we want to engage in a whole culture and this is this is something we can put out there we can engage a whole world with and stuff like this and this is this is our first this is the first movie we did uh, we have done another one which is a short film which uh, was an award-winning film and, and well nominated uh, mm -hmm. we had 11 nominations and one win on, on the 168 project um, which I know many people are still waiting to see we just want to do it in a theater so uh, just because of the scope of the movie we want to do it in a theater um, but I, I know that for us uh, I just finished a full-length uh, uh, full-length movie called Love Wins uh, that's the writing the screenplay. Yeah, writing the screen. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, writing the screenplay. Sorry, that's right. So I just finished writing that screenplay. I'm in the process of writing another screenplay right now, uh, called Out, uh, Outside Looking In, which was it's based upon a musical that we did uh, a couple of years ago for Easter. I'm taking I'm taking that modern story and we're putting it into a, a film context. This is something that I enjoy doing, and so but we're going to be doing more short films. We do want to do another short film this summer, so we're excited for people to be involved in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and I, you know, and I know. This is what Andrew's designed to do. He's designed to make movies, and so we want to encourage him to do that. Yeah. And so we have other people that are the same way. Yeah. 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 I, I think I think Ty pretty much said it all. You know, I mean, it, it's it's a you know, stories are a way to break through to people. Absolutely. You know, um, because they're entertaining, but they can also teach. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and, and it's a way to reach people that are not, you might not set foot in the church, mm -hmm. you know, and, and maybe reach them in, in such a way that it gets them thinking along mm -hmm. those lines. Yep. You know, and I think for me, one of the, you know, the best comments I've ever had about one of my movies was, uh, you know, I was showing, showing somebody one of my films and, and when they got done, you know, and, and they were not a believer and they said, Andrew, you know, we, I thought, you know, being a Christian, I knew what you were going to make as a movie, you know, and, and I knew that I could just dismiss whatever lesson you were going to tell me within that movie. And he said, when that movie got over, I'm going to have to go home and think about this. Because I that's did an not, impact. Yeah, yeah, I did not know yeah. that message. And that's, know? and I think that's and, the impact. Yeah, of, and, of, of, of film in a yeah. way that we can't do. And and you can you can have you can have movies that are just very direct teaching and salvation message and stuff like that, which are awesome and needed. And then you can have movies that, you know, go out into the secular world that people, mm -hmm. it, it hits them in such a way that it's like, well, I never looked at the world that way. I never thought mm -hmm. about things that way. You know, I never. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever, and it can open up. You know, I, I guess the best analogy I I can think of is when Christ tells the parable of the sower and the seeds. Mm -hmm. Some of the seeds fall on hard soil, and they don't take root. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and what do you got to do to hard soil if you're a farmer? You got to plow it. Mm -hmm. Got to remove the rocks and all that stuff. Yeah, and I think that yeah. can plow. Mm -hmm. I, I think I think hitting people with a message that makes them think mm -hmm. can plow up that soil for them. To, yeah. I know for me, uh, when we're thinking about these things, I want to fish with the right bait. Mm -hmm. And I think some things that have happened, like in Christian media, and by the way, yeah. uh, you know, our, our Mother's Day movie, it's about Mother's Day, it's, right. a, it's about faith. Right. Um, but I want to tell stories that are going to reach a world that doesn't know Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we have to figure, that's one of the things that as we grow as a media team, yeah. we're trying to figure that out. And so we're really hoping that we can do that this mm -hmm. year. Yeah. We'll yeah. Yeah, I can hear your hearts, and yep. thank you for sharing about the film. Uh, we're happy to have you here and joining us for The Perfect Mom. So just stay tuned um, because it will be beginning shortly, and we'd love to hear your feedback on it. So we'll see you soon. And then I have another one, and I don't remember the next one. <laughs> Ever since I met her at this perfect mom. <laughs> <laughs> Please continue to eat it. Eat it all. Eat popcorn. It's all yours. All yours. Go eat all eat the it. chips. I don't care. Good cut.